British trains are getting a tech upgrade. One of Britain's biggest rail watchdogs has laid out plans for the future of train travel, opting for more tech to make commuting easy and fuss-free. Ticketing options for the UK rail system are currently limited to paper tickets and credit cards, but that could change in the near future. Passengers may soon be able to open ticket gates using an app and Bluetooth signals on their smartphones. The lack of physical contact with the gate helps reduce delays and gets more people through during busier times. Eventually, the smartphone option could be replaced by biometrics, with fingerprint and iris scans identifying passengers and charging tickets directly to their travel accounts. New seat designs are also in the works for train carriages. One type provides staggered seating for more shoulder space and allows 20 to 30 percent more seats per carriage. Another design has traditional seating that can be converted into an alternative configuration at peak times, with tables that unfold into seats for added capacity. The UK rail system will also develop self-regulating trains that can communicate with each other in order to avoid conflicts at junctions. Doing so allows more frequent services and fewer delays. The new plans were unveiled at the Rail Delivery Group's annual conference in Birmingham, with plans for some of the upgrades already underway. Trials for smartphone ticketing will begin this year, and new seat designs could be built into existing trains within a year. £450 million has also been invested to test the new signaling technology for the intelligent trains. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Keep watching for more stories about the future of public transport. Hyperloop full test run to take place in Vegas. Hyperloop One is planning to run the world's first full-size Hyperloop test within the next few months. Hyperloop One announced last week that it plans to execute a full test within the next three months at Apex Industrial Park in Las Vegas. According to a company spokesman, the test run will cover 500 linear meters. In May 2016, the company successfully tested its levitating electromagnetic motor on an open-air sled, reaching speeds of 116 miles per hour. The company said it is planning to have a full Hyperloop system ready to transport freight by 2020. The Hyperloop is based on the idea by Elon Musk of levitating pods powered by an electric propulsion system that would travel in near-vacuum tubes at speeds of over 700 miles per hour. According to Musk's calculations, a Hyperloop trip from San Francisco to Los Angeles could be made in under 40 minutes. Hyperloop One says that after the full test run, it plans to extend the tube into a few kilometers. Airbus unveils a flying taxi. Airbus has announced its development of a flying taxi, which aims at solving traffic congestion worldwide. Airbus's electric flying vehicle is currently named the City Airbus. Test flights will be conducted in enclosed flight corridors at the National University of Singapore in mid-2017. The drones can travel to and from locations on the campus and port. Researchers plan to develop a machine vision system to allow the city Airbus to detect obstacles and function completely autonomously. Airbus says it envisions customers ordering rides in the future with their smartphones and city Airbus vehicles landing outside their front doors. Airbus is targeting this product to transport service providers such as Uber. They believe sharing the cost of a flying taxi by multiple customers could lower the price to nearly the same as a normal taxi ride. Paris gives go-ahead to flying water taxi trials. Ever wanted to take in the City of Light via a flying boat? Well, soon you might be in luck. Next year, Paris will test a prototype flying water taxi that will allow people to tour the city along the Seine River. The vessel, named Sea Bubble, can reportedly travel up to 30 kilometers per hour and can seat five people, including a driver. Sea Bubble will also reportedly have foils attached to its hull that will reduce drag and help it float around two feet above the water. Parisian authorities have allowed testing of the vessel on the Seine River next year. If successful, Parisians could soon get Sea Bubble docking stations along the banks of the Seine. 
The developers hope that sea bubble vessels could eventually be ordered through vehicle hailing apps like Uber. If successful in France, the team hopes to use sea bubble vessels in waterways in other cities, such as London, Geneva, and elsewhere. The developer hopes the cost of using sea bubble will be around 10 euros per trip if the project passes testing in Paris. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Self-driving buses go on trial in Finland. Finland is testing driverless electric buses in the country's capital. Two driverless EZ10 minibuses with obstacle detection technology are being tested on public roads in Helsinki alongside other vehicles and pedestrians. The minibuses can hold up to 12 passengers each and can reach a top speed of 40 kilometers per hour but travel at an average speed of 10 kilometers per hour. Officials say the buses could be used in the future to connect existing public transportation systems. Finland is a world leader in trials of automated transport, partly because Finnish law doesn't require vehicles on the road to have a driver. Helsinki is testing the buses as part of an ambitious plan to make car ownership unnecessary by 2025 by providing a point-to-point -point mobility on-demand system. The trial began on August 18th and runs for a month. Tel Aviv, Israel could become the world's first city to get the magnetically levitating Skytran mass transit system, local officials say. The Skytran system consists of pods that hang from overhead connectors, levitated by magnetism. Each pod carries two people, giving the riders privacy and a quiet ride due to the pod's magnetic suspension. The pods can be hailed by computer, tablet or smartphone and arrive almost instantaneously. The pods enter a continuously moving stream and only stop at their destination. Skytran hopes to get the project started in 2014, pending financial and government permits. The system was co-developed by NASA and Skytran, a private company based at the NASA Ames Research Center in Silicon Valley.